I'm HM1 Cortez Brown, currently serving as a respiratory therapist on board the USNS Mercy during RIMPAC 2014. Most of my days begin with my director of meetings where I'm meeting with my division officers and chiefs to get the plan of the day and then rolling it out to all the junior staff so that we're all on one accord. Serving on board the USNS Mercy has been like nothing I've done in my naval career. Mercy is a large ship with a lot of capabilities. In order to always take advantage and be ready to, to use those capabilities, we have to constantly train. On a normal working day, we do at least one to two uh, mass casualty or patient receiving drills. During those exercises, I've had a chance to work with many other nations, exchanging medical knowledge and experience so that we can collectively take better care of patients. One of my proudest moments on the Mercy was rendering honors to the USS Arizona while pulling out of Pearl Harbor, knowing the combat casualties suffered on that ship and that this ship is designed to reduce those casualties if an event like that ever happened again helped me realize my and the ship's role in the big picture. Pulling into Pearl Harbor on board USNS Mercy is such a privilege and humbling experience that I don't think anything can compare. Knowing that those people that had gone before me who made the ultimate sacrifice, they didn't die for no reason. They died preserving the country's freedom and being on board the Mercy for that gives me pride for what I do. I'm HM2 Fredlin Dolores and I am a general duty corpsman serving aboard USNS Mercy. I run the sick call area here, so we see patients that has cuts, colds, lacerations, broken arms, so we split them, treat them, and then send them on their way. Mercy is different in a way that it's more focused in um, humanitarian disaster relief operations and then on a great whole ship we're more of focus on the wartime, war fighting capabilities. Training on the ship or anywhere else is very important because you know you want to be prepared. You want to be able to respond quickly and more effectively. That's why we do training. The purpose of the training is to get more proficient. Training junior sailors or any other of those who are more junior or inexperienced is important because they will be the one in the future filling in your spot or your position. You just want to basically train how you fight and fight how you, tr you were trained. <laughs>